Okay, now we're going to look at uh, how to do some validation. Uh, we can read and write metadata, um, do updates, but if it's not valid, then it's not going to be that much use to us. So let's have a look at uh, Metadata Validator Workspace that is available for download from FAPedia. And you can see that uh, there's the data flow for validation. We need a creator to kick off the process. Uh, now this XML validator transformer is the key to the whole process and you can see that um, the input is an XML file. It's a published parameter so we can use it as a tool. Anybody can run it even if they uh, don't know much about FME. And you can see the first validator only validates syntax because there's not much point in validating a schema if it's bad syntax. So that will help, help um, narrow down the problem if there are any. And we create a bad syntax error message if that test fails. The next validator checks for schema. So now we actually can go to the FME install directory under the FME XML schemas ISO path and choose the GMD XSD to actually do the uh, validate against that particular ISO schema. And uh, so if again there's a problem with the schema, now we can create a different error message saying bad schema. If that passes, then we create an error message or a status message saying that it's successful and uh, we do a few other things like read the name of the file and uh, calculate the length of the file before writing that out either to HTML or to a CSV report file which stores the various uh, error and status messages. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. I got to run with prompt because I want to choose which file to process. So the first one we'll do is process the bad uh, syntax. Open that and run it. And if we go to the output directory, by the time we get there, it should update. Okay, yeah, that's the current timestamp. We open that up, uh, resize the fields, and you can see that it says, in fact, that it's bad XML syntax, and the problem is on line 378, where the input tags have, oh, have ended, but the GMD metadata tag is missing. And if we look at the actual data set, you can see that if we scroll to the bottom on line 378, the forward slash is not there. So to fix that, we would just have to add the forward slash. Now, there are other ways we can uh, run this. We could also publish it to FME server so that anybody who has access to a web browser uh, can go ahead and evaluate their XML metadata without having uh, to have FME installed. So I'll just go to my demo repository and configure the validator. And all I have to do is upload my files for, for testing. In this case, I'm going to test uh, for schema, this bad schema, and this good schema. So I'll choose those two, bad and good upload them and then we just have to choose which one we want to run we'll choose the bad schema first hit run and so it's running exactly the same workspace but that's been published to FME server nobody had to write a, a line of code they just hit publish and now it's a web service for validating metadata and uh, when that's finished it'll pop up a report that will tell us whether it's good or bad metadata. Now there's the report, so I just have to go open. And again, I get an Excel report, but it says instead of bad syntax, it says bad schema, and oh, by the way, the date format is wrong. Okay. And so let's say we fix that date format and run this again. Uh, we can choose the good file, which has the correct date format, and go OK, run. It'll run exactly the same workspace, but this time both the syntax and the schema validators should pass. And lo and behold, here we go. Here's the output. We'll open that up. And you can see validation successful. So uh, we still have the file length just to make sure it wasn't successful on a zero length file. So there you go. That's how FME can be used to validate uh, your metadata by.